Joey T. We're in Green Bay at Lambeau Field. I'm here with Sean McQuillan and hanging out in the parking lot right here on Lombardi Avenue. Man, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And we thought we'd bring you the new Tailgate Village as our background today. Give you a little taste of what uh, Green Bay is offering for its Got to go through the pro shop. Got to go through the pro shop. See some of the latest your, gear. You <laughs> forgot your shirt. I forgot my shirt. So we had to go to the pro shop. Wasn't the only thing I forgot this morning, but it's okay. We're getting, it was a good excuse. We're getting through all the security that goes on at Lambo. We arrived twice. here. We've been checked a few times. Guy actually wants to hang out with us, but he won't. <laughs> he won't stay that long because no beer. There's no beer here. <laughs> so he's like, "All right, I think I'll just move on." All right. So this week there was uh, some discussion about Greg Jennings on Fox News, and he made a comment about Mike McCarthy. And the comment being that Mike McCarthy had put the cuffs on the offense and kept them back when they were in lead situations. A little bit of a controversial topic. It, uh, it there's there's really two subjects here. Is Mike, is really Mike McCarthy that there conservative? Is. There is. Let, let's let's talk about Greg Jennings though first yeah, before we go into that. You know, I mean, let's face it. I mean, the guy's got a Super Bowl ring. He played on the 2011 team. He worked to get to that point. Um, definitely a fan favorite. He was one of my favorites. Great speedster. Um, played with Brett Favre. Now, we're in a little different situation. I think he's credible as can be. Moved on to the Vikings. And you know when a player, Green Bay does that. Or as credible as he wants to be. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's just, it, it's always like I wish you wouldn't have went to Minnesota. Does it, does it, does the Packer fan base lose it a little bit when a, when a player does that? Now, he was offered multiple contracts by the Packers before he left Green Bay. I don't think he wanted to leave Green Bay. I think he wanted to stay here, but they just weren't going to pay him that kind of money. Well, I think that, you know, there's a lot of dynamics to Greg Jennings and what he's bringing up now for for Fox. It, it is a new story. We are in the dead time season for Packers and Packer News. They know Greg Jennings is probably going to give them some things they want. I mean, that is his media job at this point. He was not reluctant to go after Aaron Rodgers and his leadership style. It, it does really seem that uh, Greg does have some facts associated with it. I don't know if it's his current news. I think uh, Mike McCarthy has not been as conservative the last couple seasons, but Greg Jennings definitely does have credibility from, you know, winning a Super Bowl with the organization. What I do hear is him talking about the good things and what Green Bay has also done for him in his career. Right. He's played with arguably two of the best quarterbacks in the, in the league. Favre has already stamped his name in history. Rodgers is soon to do so. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, Greg is definitely... Um, He's got some opinions that are more on the negative end. I don't, you know, as far as him going to Minnesota, I don't think we're fans of him. Unless maybe you've got a great duty person. <laughs> I, I, I think some players are easier to let go. I do believe Greg was, uh, in, the, in the early stages, was offered more money. Um, I, I want to say maybe around 14 mil for a year, possibly. And that offer, after he shopped himself around the league, I believe became lesser. I don't remember if it was around around 9 or 11 mark. Greg basically took a contract that in Minnesota that gave him more guaranteed money than what he was going to get. I believe he thought his market was going to be higher than it was. End of his career. Correct. You have to. I mean, as you get a little bit older, we all experience it. Uh, you know, he has to look at his stability and where he's going to go with that, with his family and whatnot. But... I want to go back to what you said that maybe they did, the Packer fans didn't think it was that big of a deal. See, now where I'm from, Kenosha, Wisconsin, it's, it's, it's always been the Bears. Now, since the Bears have taken tapered off a little bit, it, yeah, real yawner, it, it's, it's not the same. But up here, I have some friends, northern Wisconsin, it's all Vikings. The only team they care about beating are the Vikings. I wouldn't say that's the only team, but it is a, it is a much bigger deal up here. Minnesota border, but um, might be hearing some cars and some motorcycles going by on Lombardi Avenue. But uh, I don't know. 
Well, back to the statement, you know, that he made. Sure. Well, the statement that he made, I, that may have been more true. And, you know, it, it uh, conser conservative coaches are typically conservative at times. Coach McCarthy's not only the offensive coach, he's the overall coach. And if he's seeing it just on the offense, I've seen it in defensive situations too. Again, I think we could go into the Seattle NFC Championship game. Right. With it's an easy one to Well, to the defense came out in the third quarter, looked more conservative versus the aggressive approach they, take, they were prevent, taking. Prevent type. Yeah, and the offense too. I mean, they, they were reluctant to put the ball in Aaron Rodgers' hands at the end of the game where he clearly was exploiting the middle of the field throughout that game yeah. and run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, giving Seattle back possessions where maybe we could have just uh, been a little more aggressive. But again, Greg Jennings was not playing in that season with us True. either, You know, which could still be some of the bitterness. Green Bay was still successful without Greg Jennings. And towards the end of his career, I think you were seeing more of a relationship develop with Jordy Nelson and Aaron Rodgers being the one-two punch. Jennings spent some very good years here in Green Bay. He spent spent them with far great years. Rodgers is Rogers stays a lot more true to uh, the system and, and less of taking chances. Maybe Jennings didn't make all the adjustments that he was willing to make. I look at it as you know, let's look at it as a company and a new boss comes in. Right. It's you don't it, really like change. Yeah, and you got You got to be willing to give it a chance. And I think it was just, I think Greg was just on the end of his stint. And really, you know, players were, like Jordy were coming more into their own and really going to be more of the number one targets. Did he really do anything when he went to Minnesota? He played with two he great quarterbacks here. Got some great advertising. Yeah, well, he had a three year contract, and in two years, the guarantee was, was done. It was they funny. were done. Sean, I went to a game in Minnesota, and the entire program, the entire program, I still think the Bears rivalry is uh, it's still, still alive and well. It, it it's is. never going to go away. Right. right? Because especially now with the NFL being, you know, year to year, we don't know. The Bears might be a, a really good team this year. Joey, please. They no. might be. No, they won't be. What's his name? Trubisky? What's his name? <laughs> Why? Trubisky? You, you're, I, no, believe I, I don't believe the Bears are going to be that good of a team. And not this year. And making the investment in a quarterback and moving and making them uh, what they gave One up spot. exactly it makes no sense and why would they be developing at this point they have nothing to put around it so enough with the bears for now i don't yeah. i don't i see the bears as the last in our division maybe at detroit minnesota will be battling for that second spot green bay is still say the last two seasons I, I don't see as much conservative but I see our defense being put in uh, some tough spots at times too and which again is a whole other debate yeah well I'll tell you I, I'm curious to see what happens on offense I know we've been talking a lot about defense but you know with the double tight end sets and stuff like that working the middle and, and I think uh, I think it's going to be fun to watch to see Martellus back 
Bennett and Kendricks come together as one. I'm, I'm excited about Kendricks. Everybody always talks about Martellus Bennett. I'm, I think Lance Kendricks is going to be something special. I think the offense, former Badger. Well, another fan favorite. Played, right off the played bat. with the LA Rams. They talk a lot about that. He, I think he, he was with the LA Rams, but he, he never really had the quarterbacks around him, much like uh, Jared Cook. Sure. So, you know, I'm just curious to see what McCarthy does with that setup. Well, that setup, I believe, too, will be used uh, in their run dynamics. They have a, they have converted Montgomery, as we've discussed in the past, to the primary running back, so to speak. Right. You know, you're going to see a lot of different sets. You're going to see a lot of how tight, they use Montgomery is going to be interesting. Too. Those tight end sets you're talking about will, you know, the blocking schemes will be, you know, will be interesting to watch. The offense, I, I don't think the offense is the problem, though. I mean, it, it really defensively is. To me, are we really a strong enough defense to get to the Super Bowl this year? So, you know, that's that brings up another question is how good does our defense need to be? And, you know, where do they need to be ranked to, to get back to the Super Bowl? How do you feel about that? Well, what were they last? Do they have to be top ten? I think they got to be very close to top ten. If you look back at last year's playoffs, I believe in the in the 12 teams that were in the playoffs, I believe we were last ranked defense, and it looked like it in the NFC Championship game. I don't believe uh, Atlanta's defense was great throughout the regular season, but and that proved that proved the comeback that the New England Patriots had on them. Also, and they gave up a lot in the last series. But going to Green Bay and their defense, where it needs to be ranked, I think it's got to be very close to a top 10 defense. Last year. Starting with the Giants series at home here, that game, that game without the Hail Mary at the end of half, it was a very close game. And the drop, the drops by Beckham early on, and so I think a lot is still on Aaron Rodgers for us. And as far as we got, look at the Cowboys game, look at the lead we jumped up on, look at how they got back right in that game without too much trouble at all. It came on Aaron Rodgers in uh, a play of the year, basically for us to get to that NFC Championship game. I believe we were ranked something in the 20s, maybe 22nd in regular season defense last year. It, that's not good not enough. Good and we may not, we can't ride on Aaron Rodgers that heavy to get back to that point. Even if we would have gotten in the Super Bowl last year, probably been, would have been a lot more of the same. Okay, so we're going to kind of round it up there. And uh, thank you for tuning in with us. Take care. Thank you, diehard Packer fans, and the great following. And thank you, Joey T, for bringing us out here today and uh, giving us this opportunity. A lot of fun.